Creating a cipher system character can be quite a daunting task, especially since every option from every cipher system book is combinable with almost every other option from almost every other cipher system book, potentially scaring off new players. So a nicely streamlined, easy to use online character creator that just spits out a PDF ready for you to use at your table would be quite an amazing thing to have for the cipher system. Am I right? Hi there fellow role gamers and playmasters, I want to jump immediately into action with this. I'm Mr. Trask and this is your go-to YouTube channel for everything Cypher System. And Multicube Games has put out an amazingly streamlined character builder for everybody to use. Now, details. This is still in beta, which just means like, hey, if, if you find any mistakes in here, deal with it because it's a beta phase, right? I've actually had access to this for quite a while in like some sort of like, I don't know, content creator exclusive alpha thing. I wasn't allowed to talk about it. I was allowed to say in my Discord like, hey, I have access to this and it is pretty damn amazing. But other than that, I wasn't able to show screenshots or anything. So I'm really, really happy I can finally show this to you and show what it is all about. I've been creating some characters in here. There's only one character in here, as you can see right now. But that is because I've deleted a bunch of my characters because I, I because I had like six or seven characters already. Now, um, as you can see, there's three ways of getting yourself a Cypher system character uh, there's the guided way which is basically the way you do it with the books when you're, you have the books you pick your class like your type your flavor your descriptor all of that stuff and you uh, you select your options and your powers and your abilities and all of that stuff but this is just like more streamlined and it's just easier to use than flipping through books and all of that stuff so it's basically DD beyond um for the cypher system but it's cooler and more awesome because it's not Wizards of the Coast, right? So then there is the unguided uh, way of doing it, which is basically, honestly, my favorite way of doing things. The unguided way is you basically fill in a character concept uh, with some details that you really want about your character and then just hit generate or something like that and it just generates a character based on that ID that you had, but it gives you a bunch of powers that it, the system thinks that belong belongs to your character or would fit for your character. For me, this is my favorite way. Now, we will be walking through the guided way today, but I also want to qu quickly show off the unguided way because that's just so much fun for me. Um, now, before we do this, I want just want to quickly say, it takes only 10 seconds, uh, Hymn of the Dragonflower is 88% funded. It is my Kickstarter, an adventure for 5th edition. Uh, and Tales of the Valiant that I'm writing with uh, Dot Steverson. I know it's 5th edition, it's not uh, a Cypher System, I know, but there might be a Cypher System version coming in the, in the future uh, if this gets funded, of course. So make sure to click the link in the description below. So the unguided way of doing things, I think this is really cool. So uh, let's just ignore, uh, let's just give this dude a random name, right? Um, I don't know, uh, Suzy. Suzy Q. Let's just name her Suzy Q, but completely murder the way it is written. Suzy Q is a, and you can select a bunch of things here, right? Is a, um, I don't know, appealing, brash, clever, craven, cruel, uh, dwarf, <laughs> exiled, fast. I read far for some reason. I don't know. Um, flutter, foolish. Um, okay, yeah, Suzy Q is a foolish uh, explorer who. Souls miss nah, speaks for the land, stands like a bastion, stretches, takes animal shape, talks to machines, uh, thunders, touches the sky, uses wild magic. Yeah, a foolish explorer who uses wild magic with the uh, magic. No, let's give her the combat flavor. She story arc. I don't know. Fell from grace. Uh, master skill. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Romance. Solve a mystery. Theft. Yeah, theft. Uh, gender, she's female. Uh, genre, let's make her, for now, science fiction. That's all you need to do. Now, distribute a initial six points between pools. So we made her an explorer, uh, uses wild magic. So we want some, uh, let's say we want two in our intellect pool, but we also want, uh, sorry, four. And we also want two in our speed pool because we want her to be able to uh, stop a few punches coming her way with her speed pool. So we're not giving her might, we're giving her speed and intellect. So that's the six points you are able to divide among your three pools. The rest will be filled in for you by uh, the uh, the system itself so all you need to do now is bam create a character 
done. You got yourself a full-fledged character right here. You can uh, save this as PDF, which basically just does the thing that you think will uh, do. Just give give it a, uh, right. It gives you a PDF that you that is form fillable, so you can adjust. You can print this. You can play this at your table. But the coolest thing about this, of course, is that you have this thing right here that you can edit and do things because it also gives you um a random like it gives you ciphers random. Uh, ciphers so in this case four ciphers probably because you're an explorer you can click reroll ciphers or if your game master is like no i want you to have like these ciphers you can just like click a cipher click edit you can just edit that cipher or um uh, do whatever with it that you want. Uh, there's of course also like Muscles of Iron. If you click that, you get all the information right here. Using Muscles of Iron costs you two my points. Pool M is might, costs you two my points. This cipher costs you one intellect point. Bam, the information is right here. So as you can see, it all works really, really well. Um, there's the advancement thing here that you can, uh, can use. Oh, that's, I can... Spend XP to advance. Oh, I need to do a thing, probably. I haven't actually done that, right? So, how do I... How... how Ah! How do I do that? I actually don't know. Oh, there we go. You need to click it. Increase capabilities. Oh, that I I didn't even do that yet. So increase capability. You can you, choose the uh, advancement for tier one. Increase capabilities. Starting experience points cost for less. So what do I need to do? Spend four points. Let's give her one, two, three, four points. Bam. Apply selected advancements. There we are. We have now an increased capabilities advancement. I love this. I absolutely love this way of doing things. You just put in like an ID for your character. Um, as you can see, Suzy Q is now right here. She's a foolish explorer who uses wild magic with a combat flavor. I also created a skeptical speaker who awakens dreams with the magic flavor. He's really, really cool, by the way. Um, both of these were created in the unguided way. As you can see, it took me like a few minutes to do. And I already have two characters. I can uh, do the PDF. I can export the PDF. I can also go to view. And then I can go all the way down here, which is amazing. Uh, just edit character, whatever I want to edit about her. Um, I want to give her more might. I want to give her like a different name. I can just do all kinds of th stuff to, um, to edit her, whatever. Even like the hair color. Let's make her 30 years old. Clothing style from the 1930s. She has ash blonde hair whatever update character bam this is our character i man i love this so much i love this streamlined way of just like the the, the we allow the system because the system knows the system better than we know the system probably like the options um just give it an id of what you want to be all you need to do is like pick three things and be like oh this sounds really cool cool and then just click generate and you got yourself a character that is not purely built by you it's just an id by you but built by a system which gives you you sit down at a table not knowing exactly who your character is and for me i as a player really like that kind of stuff where part of the character is created by me and my id but also a lot of what is on the page is actually for me a surprise as well and then there is the guided way of creating a character. Now, before I go into that, I want to quickly say there's also a system where you create a campaign. Like, for example, I now have my campaign. Where is it? I have Hymn of the Dragonflower active. I just called it Hymn of the Dragonflower to check it out, uh, to test it out. So I have this campaign. Uh, I can, as a game master, allow certain resources. So my players who create characters in that campaign can create now characters for the Cypher System rulebook and Godforsaken. If I do this, they will also be able to pick options from stay alive stuff like that and i can invite people i'm the campaign administrator mr trask at gmail.com send me an email if you love me uh, or hate me whatever um you can like do this campaign thing you are all the characters of a certain campaign are in like one thing and then if i want to add like i don't know probably if i want to add something to somebody's uh, character sheet i can all of that stuff is also in here everything is still beta but it is really of already really usable and all that stuff so guided Let's say we are going to create a character, a guided. Now, 
Montego Games in an email to me said they were they were really really proud of this part of the system, and I agree, it's amazing, but it's just not my, my not my favorite part. My favorite part is creating a semi-random character, like I said before. Um, let's just for the sake of things create a fantasy character. Uh, so fantasy character, we click this button um, with a let's give somebody a I don't know for. A magic flavor let's go magic because it's a little bit more like so it talks about what what the magic flavor is what it does what are the blessings of the god what it can give you like all kinds of stuff it can give you so we have the magic flavor uh, we're going to create an adapt our speaker let's make them a speaker just let's I don't know yeah just make him a speaker um, a speaker so we are now a descriptor speaker who focus with a magic flavor so we now need to find out what kind of speaker we are. We are um, we are choosing our focus. So our descriptor, the first word in our sentence, is actually the last thing we choose. We are a descriptor speaker who focus. We're now choosing our focus. So I don't know. Let's give them a focus. Um, I'm not gonna go like too deep into this and think about this too much because for the sake of this video, I just want to show off. Um, travels through time would be really cool. Travels through time. That see history, temporal acceleration, time loop. I like it. We're creating a uh, what do you call that? A chronomancer? Is that yeah, chronomancer? So let's take that. Let's take that. Have I taken that? So we now have a descriptor speaker who travels through time with a magic flavor. So what are we going to give it? Guarded, hardy, hideous, intelligent, intuitive, uh, jovial, uh, mystical, naive. Uh, we let's make him naive, right? Why not? Why the have not a naive human? Oh, oh, naive human speaker who travels through time. Human, elf, no. Human, just human, just human, right? So now it just tells us. So it's going to guide us through the entire thing. So we have a naive human speaker who travels through time with a magic flavor. At a, at a given tier, abilities from your magic flavor are traded one for one with standard abilities from your speaker type. So for instance, to add blah 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 blah. So uh, choose four abilities from the list below because you of your speaker type. That's how easy it is to use, right? So uh, am I still doing this right? Yes. Okay. So um, give him. I don't know what we, what do what do we want to get terrifying presence is actually pretty damn good uh practice with medium weapons oh I need to click add ability practice with medium weapons can be actually really cool because then you're some, like some kind of Gandalf type where you're a wizard but you can also knock some orcs down um What's fast talk? When speaking with an intelligent creature who can understand you and isn't also you convince that creature to take one reasonable action in the next round. A reasonable action must be agreed upon by the GM. Fast talk. Erase memories. Just for the sake of it. Erase memories. Fast talk. Practice, practiced with medium weapons. Just for like that uh, wizard slash like who can all also swing a sword from uh, now and then and terrifying presence which costs you two intellect but it's really cool because you can terrify the crap out of people um i like terrifying presence as an ability for players um i hate it as a gm six pool six pool points to assign we just one two three four five six let's do it like this right that's all it just tells us this is just great stuff, right? A name. Let's just Blithar. 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 Um, who has appropriate clothing and a lot. Yeah. In. Let's just make this inappropriate clothing. And a light weapon of your choice plus two expensive items, two moderate. Blah, blah, blah. Money, zero. Let's just give him a hundred. Uh, draw a specific name for a speaker type. Chronomancer, because we have that uh, thingy, right? Complete your character. Bam, there it is. We now have everything chosen from whatever we needed to choose from. All the other stuff, we basically uh, are getting stuff 
in our put in our lap on a silver, a silver plate because we choose certain things that have just certain things tied to them but we chose the options from from our level one our tier one character and we now have a blithar as a tier one na naive human chronomancer who travels through time with a magic flavor in a fantasy world. That is our character sentence. Tier 1, effort 1, 0 XP. We have 9 might, 11 speed, uh, 14 intellect. Uh, we have some skills here. Anticipation, you look ahead to see how your actions might unfold. The first task you perform before the end of the next round gains an asset, which is absolutely cool. Costs 1 intellect point. There is terrifying presence. Uh, erase memories. You reach into the mind of a creature within immediate range and make an intelligent intellect roll on a success you erase up to the last five minutes of its memory that's um crazy stuff right wide-eyed you're trained in perception tasks uh you're trained in intellect defense task and all tasks that involve resenting temptation it's actually a great character as you can see it also gives you two random ciphers it gives you it talks about uh equipment uh it talks about your background you're good with words and good with people um like all of that stuff you get um it just automatically put on your uh, character sheet and it just gives you a ready to go character with just by choosing like the sp specific abilities that are tied to the type instead of like when the, fir the first uh, thing that I use the unguided way is just like you select your type and it gives you the abilities here you select your type your flavor and all that stuff and you have to choose from whatever is available to you so yeah you can always go down here and sorry you can always go up here characters i now have blithar a naive human chronomancer who travels through time with a magic flavor in a fantasy world cool stuff right now the character builder is still in beta there's probably new stuff coming but i've already created a campaign for my players that i play on a monthly basis uh, as within a fantasy cypher system game and i want to just i want them to join that campaign i will invite them they will have to create their character in that campaign so i have more of an overlook on everything and people just like don't forget their character sheet like i can just go online at home when they're here when they forgot their character sheet which happened before and then just print it off I just like adjust it do the thing print it off and just pr sorry print it out and just put it in front of them and be like next time don't forget your character sheet now give me like four of your xp as a punishment until next video bye bye